One second ago, you were like deep in love, and now you're like, oh my God, I'm at the voice. Like, it's so wild. Niall was dying. Um, <laughs> oh God, that was so good. The way you sing sounds like you're a songwriter. I am a songwriter, yes. The way that you were able to just take those lyrics and sing them like it was your story, it, it, there was just something so real about it. And in my songwriting journey, just to be able to capture those feelings and just have it there timeless forever in a song. That's what I love, that's why I like music. And I would love to have you on Team Gwen. Thank you so much, Gwen. Hello, Alexa. Hi. Um, <laughs> I've sat here and I've waited for you. Oh, oh come on, Ooh. liar. Gwen, what was my reaction when no. she started? Oh my. He was like be so honest. bored when you started. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Christine McVie and Stevie Nicks are half the reason why I even picked up a guitar and started writing songs. The fact that you chose that song, I'm just getting goosebumps even thinking oh. about it. She'd be so proud of that. Thank and, you so um, much. I'm so proud of you for taking it on. Thank you. There were some little pitch issues, but we can understand pitch in this scenario, especially when the emotion is given across. I'm going out on a limb to say what a performance you put in. That's this phenomenal. This gonna propose to her sooner than <laughs> I've waited all my life. Jeez, it'd be great television, <laughs> wouldn't it? That'd be great, yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have you on my team, so please pick me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd felt a really peaceful feeling when you were singing. Thank you. I'll take what you delivered over pitch perfection any day. Mm -hmm. I was very fortunate to get to sing at Madison Square Garden in New York City. My grandpap and my daddy had both performed their rope, and so to be able to go back as a third generation to sing there, I was all choked up and emotional, and my first four songs, I would have been thrilled to death if I hit one note, because I was so nervous, and this is a big deal. Yeah. I totally get you being a little nervous because I was so wrapped up in the emotion of what you were giving us. So congratulations on that. Thank you so much. I'd love Thank to you. be your coach. Thank you. What was most important to me was the feeling that you gave all of us. The quality of your voice was angelic, mesmerizing. I won the voice in my first season with an artist who sounded a lot like that kind of tone. Hasn't won it since. Tough crowd. Okay. Guy comes on the show one season. Wins it. Uh, <laughs> he, de he develops a, a certain arrogance that is very unbecoming, honestly. <laughs> very unbecoming. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I know I can be a great coach for you. I would love to win The Voice again with you, Alexa. Let's do it. So, who do you choose as your coach? How do you make a choice like this? You say John. You say John. Just say John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Team Niall. Yes! Come on! Oh! Oh! I got Alexa. I can't believe it. Oh my god, that was special. Her voice was just so pure and so authentic. She gave me goosebumps 15 times over. <laughs> I don't even know if I knew that I was going to say Niall when I said it. And then when I picked him, I just felt 
like this beautiful, joyful release. I was like, this is it. This is the person I'm meant to work with right now.